I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Partly cloudy. It is a 62, a high of 62, and a low of 41. And At Sparrows Point Middle School, we have pride when we practice safe behaviors, respect ourselves and others, interact with empathy and inclusivity, demonstrate responsible citizenship, and exercise high academic standards. Now, a message about math clash. Are you ready for Math Clash? Coming December 23rd. What is Math Clash? An intense competition between grade levels. What type of competition? Shoe relay, math problems, optional course, basketball shootout, and more. How can I look up at my competition? What? Bring in a toy for the NGHS Toy Drive. This grade level brings up most toys who agree to five points to start Math Clash. How do I social my support for my grade? Sixth graders, you wear red. Seventh graders, wear black and white. Eighth graders, wear blue. Intramurals will be held outside today. Planners for Change will meet in Mr. Wise's room today after school until 3.45 p.m. We will be making posters and discussing ways to promote inclusivity and positivity in our school building. All students are welcome. Next week is Spirit Week. Monday is PJ Day. Tuesday is Festive Mismatch. And Wednesday is Ugly Sweater Day. And Thursday is Math Clash. Sixth grade, wear red. Seventh grade, wear black and white. Eighth grade, wear blue. Now a message from Sean. The Sparrows Point is it middle school? Yeah. Sparrows Point Middle School bas women's basketball team will be taking on Block Raven this afternoon in the high school gym. Lamar Jackson is now considered day to day and now has about I'm gonna say probably like a sixty five percent chance of playing. They have now signed New York Jets quarterback Josh Johnson from the practice squad to be the backup to Tyler Huntley. Urban Meyer this morning just got fired after taking the Jacksonville Jaguars to a 2-11 season and being alleged that the former kicker got kicked by the, by the head coach. <coughs> The National Junior Honor Society will collect, uh, will host a toy drive to collect toys for children. I can't. The grade level that collects the most toys will start with five points of math clash on the 23rd. Bring your toys to Miss Moreland in room 228 by Monday, December 20th. Now a message from Mr. Rizzi. <laughs> I'm here. I'm always ready. <laughs> Let me get my information. Good morning, Sparrows Point. Welcome to Thursday. Couple reminders and updates. Reminder, if you get an after school detention, you will not be participating in the math clash. So far, we've removed six sixth graders from the basketball competition. So I'd like to thank all the eighth grade teachers who assigned after school detentions to all those sixth graders. Okay, update on the toy drive. Okay, in first place right now, with 43 toys this seventh grade. In second place right now with 18 toys is the eighth grade. And in third place right now with five toys, that's the sixth grade. It's embarrassing, sixth grade. You should be ashamed of yourselves when you look at yourself in the mirror every morning. And this is why it's embarrassing and you should be ashamed of yourself because I know a sixth grade teacher brought in all five of those toys. <laughs> Which means not a single sixth grader has brought in a toy for the toy drive. Right now, all the sixth graders are sitting there listening to my voice. You might be laughing and giggling, but inside, you're ashamed of yourself, aren't you sixth graders? It's a toy drive. You're trying to spread joy and happiness to everyone less fortunate than you during the holidays. And you're only thinking about yourself. You're not thinking about other people. 
I'd be shocked if that number five increases. And if it does, there will just be sixth grade teachers who embarrass themselves that they're teaching sixth graders or bring something in. I mean, here. Hear this? This is me in the eighth grade cutting all the hopes and dreams that sixth graders have of winning the math clash. I mean, it's bad enough your brains and your muscles haven't developed enough to defeat an eighth grader, but now you can't even bring toys in. I don't know how you do it. Thank God I'm not a sixth grade teacher. If I was, we'd win the math clash every year. There's no doubt about it. But as an eighth grade teacher, we'll win the math clash again, as usual. <sighs> so eighth graders, as much as I don't like losing the toy drive, even the seventh graders, we have to do a better job tonight and this weekend of bringing in toys. Because we're down by quite a few toys. So this weekend, go to the dollar store. It won't be contaminated with sixth graders because they don't buy toys. So you can go there and not have to worry about running into a sixth grader. Okay. So thank you for listening to me. Lots of time to bring those toys in. I think Monday is a deadline. So this is going to be a big weekend for toys. <coughs> Cutting all the hopes and dreams of the sixth graders. Right, Owen? Thank you. Why do seals swim in salt water? Because pepper makes them sneeze. Have a great day, Point.